is Kristen of the Ooster Hat Free Library, and I have a question for you. What hatches on land but spends its life in the sea? What starts out the size of a ping pong ball but can grow to be seven feet long? Can you guess? It's a sea turtle, and today we're going to celebrate Nat World Sea Turtle Day. That's June 16th. So today we'll learn a little bit about sea turtles. We will um, conduct a little observation to find out how sea turtles can get to where they want to go without a map. And we'll even make a cute little craft. So let's learn a little bit more about sea turtles. Sea Turtles by Gail Gibbons, Holiday House, New York Publishing. Sea turtles live in warm ocean water. They're in the family of air-breathing reptiles. Reptiles are cold-blooded and have scaly skin. The first sea turtles lived about 200 million years ago. That's when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. Over millions of years, sea turtles evolved to become smaller and smaller. And today, they are among the oldest surviving creatures in the world. Almost every sea turtle has a shell that is hard and bony for protection. The sea turtle has strong flippers it uses just like paddles. And the front flippers make the sea turtle a powerful swimmer. Some can even swim as fast as 20 miles an hour. That's four times faster than a human can swim. And the back flippers are used for turning and stopping. They're kind of like the brakes. A sea turtle also has sharp senses. It has a special hearing organ in the head just behind its eyes. And a sea turtle's sense of smell is well developed too. And it can see far away underwater. Sometimes sea turtle looks like it's crying but it isn't sad. The tears are how the sea turtle gets rid of some of the sea salt that it absorbs from the seawater. While most turtles are able to pull their heads, feet, and tails inside their shell for protection, sea turtles can't, so their eyes and ears must always be on alert. There are eight kinds of sea turtles. Some of them have hard shells. The Kemp's Rut Ridley and Olive Ridley sea turtles are the smallest. They can be about two feet long and weigh a hundred pounds. That's not that small, is it? Next, you have the Hawksbill sea turtle. It's three feet long and weighs about a hundred pounds. It's called the Hawksbill sea turtle because its upper jaw hooks down and over the lower jaw just like a hawk's bill. The Australian flatback sea turtle and black sea turtle are just a little over three feet long. These can be found around Australia. The green sea turtle and the loggerhead sea turtle are about the same size. They can be three to five feet long and weigh 400 pounds. The green sea turtle is called a green sea turtle not because it's particularly green, but it's because of its main diet is seaweed, and that means it's a true vegetarian. It only eats plants. The log leatherback is the biggest of all sea turtles. It can be about seven feet long and weigh over a thousand pounds. It's the only sea turtle without a hard shell. There's seven ridges that go down its leathery back. The leatherback is the deepest diver of all turtles. It can go as deep as 1,300 feet. Sea turtles don't have teeth. They bite and tear their food with strong jaws. They swallow their food whole. And most sea turtles eat seaweed, fish, crabs, and even jellyfish. They don't make much noise, but some sea turtles can hiss when they're angry or scared. Sea turtles can migrate or travel to the place where they will have their young. Sometimes they travel more than a thousand miles. 
they're able to return to the same stretch of beach where they were born. It's the only time they'll ever leave their ocean home. At nesting time, at nighttime, the female sea turtle will drag herself up into the beach, dig a shallow pit to rest in, and she'll scoop out a nesting hole. It'll take at least an hour for her to make that hole, and she'll make like a hundred soft eggs. They look like little white balls. She covers them up, and then when she's out of the water, she's in danger. She can't see very well and moves very slow. So as fast as she can go, the sea turtle wriggles back to the sea where she will stay until she's ready to make another nest. The nest can be in danger from animals or people. So when the babies are ready to hatch, they use a sharp egg tooth to break their shells open, and then they push themselves up through the sand and rush to the sea for protection. Even though it's dark, they know where the sea is, and they move away from land to the sea because the sky appears bright over it. Some kinds of sea turtles are almost gone forever or extinct because too many, I mean, there's today, there's many people that want to help them. In many places, it's against the law to hunt sea turtles or steal their eggs. And some organizations will have turtle watches where they guard and protect the nesting areas when the females come on shore to have lay their eggs. Sea turtles remind us of Earth's long history. They have been around for millions of years. Scientists and people who care about sea turtles are always learning more about them. We know that turtles spend a lot of time at the bottom of the sea, or as you see here, at the bottom of a reef, a coral reef. But have you ever wondered what it looks like for a turtle? Well, here's a turtle eye's view of the reef. And you can see all the other coral around it, as well as some fish. I'll put a link to this in the description box below so you could take a look for yourself. Do you remember exactly where you were born? Could you travel thousands of miles away and get back to the exact spot that you were born in without a map, without asking for directions? And traveling in the sea, as you can see, everything looks very similar under the water. Well, sea turtles can. And scientists are studying this very unique trait that they can do and, and go right back to the place where they were born as babies. Let's watch this little animation that tells us a little bit more and then we'll conduct an experiment. Imagine waking up on the beach before dawn. The glimmer of light leads you to the shoreline. Suddenly, a wave pulls you in. At first, you use the direction of the waves to guide you. But once you're in the open sea, with powerful currents bombarding you, and very little light, how can you be sure of where you are and where you're going? For a hatchling sea turtle, the answer is magnetoreception. That's the ability to sense magnetic fields. We know many animals use this sixth sense for navigation. What we don't know is exactly how magnetoreception works. Here's what we do know. Earth itself is like a giant magnet. The motion from its liquid outer core generates a magnetic field. Certain animals can sense this field and use it as a compass to tell them if they're heading in the right direction and a map to give them signposts along the way. So the sea turtles can sense the Earth's magnetic field and that helps guide them back to where they were born as a baby. So we're going to do a little demonstration that kind of demonstrates how the turtles can sense the magnetic field. And for this experiment, we're going to need a paper clip, paper clip, or a screw, whatever you have around your house that's metal, uh, a piece of thread or string, I'm using a rubber band, whatever you have, you're going to attach it to the paper clip or to the screw. And then I have a little clip art here that's going to be my turtle. And of course, a refrigerator magnet or any other type of magnet that you have in your house. And a piece of paper. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to ask someone to hide the magnet under the piece of paper. Now don't peek. And let's get a little bit closer up. And once you have someone hide the magnet and get a peek, you cover it with a piece of paper. You're going to take your turtle, and it will move because you're holding it, but you're going to look for a different kind of movement. And where that magnetic pull is, is going to represent uh, the direction that tells the turtle where to go uh, and find his home, that was where the turtle was born. So let's see if we can find a different kind of pull. Just kind of move it over here, kind of slowly. Nope, I don't feel anything different there. Oh, you see how it's moving back and forth? Yep, I feel something here. If I go away, do I feel it? Nope. How about right? Right here. All right, let's find out if it's there. Now notice I'm not touching the paper. Yep, there it is. It found its home. Now try this out with your brother and sister or maybe your mom and dad and see if you could find uh, where the turtle uh, needs to turn and find his way home. Pretty cool that they can do that. And like I said, scientists are still exploring and trying to figure out exactly how they're able to do that. Have fun. Check the description box below for links and more. Some of the videos that I showed you and this pattern to this cute sea turtle that you can make yourself. All you have to do is cut it out, color, cut it out, cut on these lines right here, fold together. And you have your own sea turtle. Happy World Sea Turtle Day!